This is where we spend most of our lives, trapped in crowded subways and traffic jams, going from point A to point B. Dozens of hours, days and weeks of life that disappear just because someone else needs your physical presence in an office. Escaping the routine is difficult, but sometimes it's handed to you in the shape of a motorcycle and you just need to make the decision. Here I am, since I couldn't sleep last night because of my nervous orgasms, I uh, came early to the office and got everything done with some hours of sunlight left to enjoy. We've got a new bike in the office, so I grab my gear and I hit the road without any specific destination in mind. New Triumph Street Scrambler 2021, more specifically, the Sandstore Limited Edition, a very small upgrade over the 2020 model, one of the best selling bikes in the British modern classic segment. And although I don't really know where to go, I think to myself, maybe it's time to test the scrambled side of the bike. So far, when the paved road ended, it was time to turn around and look for another way, but this time the story is different. The bike moves around, you can hear the rocks hitting the engine protection, and the traction control, which I forgot to turn off by the way, tries to cope with a very slippery surface. Oh, and yes, I can hear you say, but Carlos Star is not a real scrambler, and you're right. The standard bike can win the Baja 1000, and you can still have a lot of fun off the road. That means that I can now reach places that I could only reach by foot before. It comes to my mind one of the locations that we use for off-road tests in 1000 PS, and although I remember it was in a pretty bad state last time we were recording, I take off my helmet and head into the woods looking for it. Before that, we reach a more or less fast area, even more so when you're riding on some sort of naked bike. This time, I don't need to ride full throttle to enjoy it. I focus myself on the lines, the touches of my boot on the asphalt and the sound of the engine, which is, by the way, one of the most beautiful sounds you'll hear coming from a Euro 5 engine. The street scrambler isn't a bike that wants to be pushed to the limit, stretching the gears looking for those 65 horsepower of peak performance. Rather, you will enjoy much more using the 80 Nm meter of torque on your benefit, way more. In 
other words, it's not a performance bike to generate a rush of adrenaline in every corner, but a bike that enables everyone to enjoy riding on two wheels without the concern of losing your license. Regarding suspension, I thought it would be quite soft, and although both the front and the rear are orientated towards comfort, they offer the firmness that I found in twisties. Tell you the truth, I never had the chance to come here in my spare time. It was always for work, and right until today, I didn't have the opportunity to sit down and breathe without that tick tac tick tac and the continuous pressure of the work. There goes another biker. You can't imagine how much the biker community helped when I left Spain and became an immigrant. But that's another story. Now I have in mind that path I was telling you about. I have some doubts because I'm afraid of scratching a bike that is so spotless. But I tell myself, it was built for the ride and not to stand still. It didn't go that bad, being myself a complete off-road beginner. Perhaps it would have been a lot more fun without the traction control. In the Street Scrambler, the off-road mode deactivates traction control, but you can only engage it once the bike isn't moving. In any case, this is my last stop of the day, we'll only half the way back home. Now, since this video is not sponsored by Skillshare or Squarespace or one of these companies, I have to ask you for your like. Click that like button, leave us a comment because that's the only way that we can convince Niels, our boss, that we can make more English videos and more videos for you. Only, obviously, if you actually enjoy it. That's it from my part. I've done now about 4,000 kilometers with my Triumph. So if you've got any questions, and feel free to ask. Leave a comment down below and I will take the time to answer the best way I can. Thank you again for being there. 
and I will see you hopefully soon. Bye bye.